So here's the big question. What is so important about po positive emotions in general? Why, why are they such a big deal? Yeah, well, one of the things is they're, they're, they seem surprising in their effects because they're so mild most of the time and so short-lived. And so for more than a century in psychological science, they were just ignored, just as you know, nothing that small and that um, short-lived could be important. But what we found is that they, positive emotions fundamentally change the way the human brain works. They allow us to take in more information, kind of widen our lens so we are able to see more in the periphery and um, to integrate that information in um, creative and integrative ways. And that is a temporary effect of positive emotions. That's what I call the broaden effect. Um, that um, comes and goes as readily as a positive emotion comes and goes. But the why that's important is that the more of these positive micro moments that you have, they're like nutrients. They accumulate and compound and help build your resources, build your resilience, build your reserves so that you become a better version of yourself. Um, it propels us on a path of growth. And so that's what I call the build effect of positive emotions. These are happening at very different time scales. The broaden is a momentary effect. The build is long term over weeks and months. Um, so if our positive emotions are frequent in daily life, then we're setting ourselves up to be a better version of ourselves next mm. season. So these, these very fast, transient, uh, short-lived emotions, we could mm -hmm. miss them. Oh, easily. In fact, we know from research that many times um, bad is stronger than good. Negative things just scream at us and the positive are much more subtle, more like a whisper. Mm. And yet there's an interesting um, complementary asymmetry where positive emotions are much more frequent than negative emotions in people's daily lives. So long as you're not dealing with an affective disorder like depression or anxiety or chronic loneliness. But for most people, positive, num positive emotions outnumber their negative emotions. And so if we tune in, if we're more mindful, if we slow down and pay attention to the more subtle aspects of our experience, they're all over the place. That's so fascinating because sometimes you might think that looking at the positive emotions is fake. Like, this isn't real, this positive stuff. Right. And, and to say that we have more positive emotions typically during the day right. than negative, right. just as a signal that they're there, we just have to pay attention, notice right. them. Not when you right. come home from work, say, how was your day? And you list all the things that went bad. Right, right. Well, another reason why it's sometimes hard to notice the real positive emotions is that you know, in many cultures, especially ours, we've co-opted the positive emotions into marketing and some other things. So it's, you know, sometimes I feel like we should have a movement of take back the smile. And make <laughs> take, it, take back and, the smile. And Own like, it. Ma yeah, yeah, make it, yeah. make it genuine again yeah. instead of um, kind of put on for a purpose. Yeah, we tend to judge ourselves too. Like if we, if we think we have the capacity and we should be elevating positive emotions, mm -hmm. that we should be feeling another way, that sometimes we use that to self-flagellate ourselves, like I should right. be happier, or I'm not where I should be, or right. why am I... Yeah, so what advice, do, you know, if you were to hone down your advice on your research, especially right. around the broaden and build, uh, to its essence about how does that help me as an individual? What should yeah. I do? How can I be today? Right. Well, I think sometimes people get really um, too focused on the future thinking about, well, I, I want happiness, I want my life to be better. Mm. And uh, I think it can be helpful to just think, I want this moment to be better. I want this day to be better. But even day, I think, is a little too long. Kind of mm. really scaling back and thinking about, how can I make this instance, this context, this meeting, this task um, more rewarding, um, that I can feel more connected to it or find more meaning in it? And that's going to be a source of positive emotions. And those, as they add up, they produce good things. But we don't need to keep our eyes on that so much as just keep focusing on um, building that instance now.